Hi, everybody. It's 6 o'clock Eastern Time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How do you guys know that I'm going to go live before I even do? This is insane. So while we wait for more people to join in and say hello, I'm just going to keep working on my... 666s six, six, I've got going on. Hey, Linda. Hi, Candace. Jennifer. Oh, hi, Rian. We missed you on Monday. Hi, Patricia. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? It was cooler in Michigan today. It was the 30 degree difference from Monday. Monday was 98. Today was 68 when I left work. Hello. Oh, hi. How's she going, eh, Nicole? <laughs> Good. Good to see. Hi, Alma. If you're new to um, my live videos, let me know. My live streams here. Let me know if you've never commented before. If you're a newbie, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh. All right, Jalen, thank you for watching the playbacks. Oh, Rian, yeah. I did early. Hi, Kendra. Good to see you again. Oh, no air, Michelle. Gross. Yuck. Oh, good, Alma. Hi, Florence. Oh, Deborah, another Southeast Michigan gal. Hi, Paula, welcome. Hey, Val. I feel like I know some of you, like, better than I know some of my people that I actually see. <laughs> hey, Molly. Hi, Kelly. Oh, good, Allison. Happy birthday, Allison. Allison, you're so excited about your birthday. I'm so pumped for you. If you don't mind me asking, how old did you turn today? Hi, Jamie. Oh, Kendra, exciting. Kendra, is, it, is your custom a square or a round? Hi, Kimmy. Hey, Tammy. Oh, hey, Min Mickey. <laughs> Kendra, you just got to dive in. Hi, Clarissa. Oh, 24. Okay. One of my best friends turned 24 this year. Oh, Rian, good job. Oh, Paula, that's exciting. Oh, Kendra, I'm sure that's going to have a lot of good colors. Hi, a oh, good morning, Allie. <laughs> you got up early for this one. Oh, you guys. Jamie, does your boyfriend diamond paint too? Hi, J&D Craft. Oh, my friend's birthday was in May. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Kylie. Sometimes. Jamie, does he do the same diamond painting as you do, or does he have his own to work on? Oh, Allison, that's interesting. It's actually the friend I'm going to live with um, pretty soon here at the end of the summer. 
Oh, hi, Sophia. Good to see you again. Okay, we got Texas in the house. We got Canada, Ontario in the house. Uh, we got Australia, of course. Where's Kathy at? Oh, I don't think Kathy can make it tonight. I think she said on the Facebook group that she, she can't make it. And that's okay. All right, if you're new to this, um, my channel or anything, and you want to um, be a part of our Facebook group, this is what it's called. Diamond Painting Addicts. If you search Diamond Painting Addicts, we're the one with the symbols. I'm heard that you have to... <laughs> um, you have to... Kylie, I'm going to try to remember your name, but it's throwing me off that it's under Scott. People have told me you have to scroll down a ways to find us. But yeah, definitely check it out. It's a closed group, so when you go to join, um, I have to approve you, um, but everyone gets in. It's just a closed group, and um, I ask you two questions. I ask you, like, how how long you've been into diamond painting? Okay, Kylie. And then um, also just to ask you if you're going to be respectful and kind and all that good stuff. Okay, so as you can probably tell, um, I have... I made these grips. So lots of video, I've seen lots of people, even like children using these rainbow loom thingamajigs. And if I was younger, I would totally be into these rainbow loom things. Oh, Michelle, I just made it like on, on Sunday. Oh, good, Sophia. So um, I know Ella has these too. And so I was like, you know what? I need to, I looked them up on Etsy. And they're, they're charging like $9.99 for one of these. And I was like, heck no. I'm going to... Hi, Lorraine. <laughs> um, I'm going to learn how to make my own. So I freaking bought a Rainbow Loom. And YouTube, you know, researched it. And um, I learned how to do it. It's really easy. And you guys look. bum ba 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 Ba, 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 ba. Do you recognize this pen? Do you recognize this pen? Do you remember how I said it's going to be a bitch to hold in a little while? Can you see it? Can you see which one it is? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> it's the pick me up pen, you guys. I stretched this cover, this grip all the way around it so it's a little bit tight um yes <coughs> so I figured it out and now it's a little bit bigger but at least it's squishy and it's not you know I'm not on this edge down here and hopefully because it's going to remind me to hold up here I won't unscrew this tip as much um my thumbnail keeps breaking you guys so sorry about my ugly ass thumb yeah so check this out Check this out. Boom. Look at that. Obviously, I've been playing with the whole rainbow idea. I've got a couple rainbows. Um, the Pick Me Up pen is about $9 on Amazon. I think the price went up. $9 on Amazon. So... Yes, there's a link to my the Facebook group under my last live video, and I can also put it in there um, in this one too, in the playback. I don't know where you get the refill. I wonder if, for the Pick Me Up pen, I wonder if you could just search on Amazon refill for the Pick Me Up pen. I'm not really sure, but that's Pick Me Up. It's P-I-C-K, Pick Me Up, like it's usually spelled. Mm. Yeah, so I got the kit, Val, on Amazon. Oh, I know, Kylie, they do take forever. Hi, Macy. Macy, did you listen to Harry Potter yet? <laughs> Joan, good. I'm glad. Hi, Alicia. I like that name. I like the, the spelling of your name. Or is it Alicia. 
Yeah, Michelle. Um, it's, it's, I don't know. I figure I, I got it. I might as well use it. You know, I just wanted to see. Thank you, Tammy. I, sorry, you guys, I had to scroll back because you guys were popping up so fast. Um, I played around with patterns and stuff. So this is, these, the non, the matte color, like the, the, the not, blah, 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 speak much. The not shiny um, bands are from the Rainbow Loom kit. And then the shiny bands, the ones that have a shine to them, like diamonds um those came in at like a refill but they're not rainbow loom brand but they're kind of like more gummy i guess um so i can't decide which one i like i've also been um kind of playing with how big to make them so this one i call it a six it has six round six um columns of you know v's or whatever um, this one has four, and then um, this one has five, and I think I found the magic number. I think this one feels the best because this one, if I push down hard, watch what happens. Like if, sometimes if I'm like correcting a drill, watch what happens. Like I can't push down very hard or else it all smooshes down because they're so loose on there. Um, but this one is better. You can you can like grip it better. So I think the five is the, the five V is the, um, hi Karen, is the magic number. Now I was gonna say, I would be willing to make you guys these if you would want, but I have to figure out because I have Venmo, um, and it would be like, I would just need you to pay for shipping because I can't, I can't pay for all these to be shipped. Um, plus maybe like another dollar for my time or whatever. Each one takes, depending on how long it is, takes about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Um, and then I would have to use the pen, so I would give you a pen too. If you want them, I don't know. I was thinking about opening an Etsy store. I, are, I have an Etsy store. Um, but I haven't kept up with it, so I think it expired. Um, I was making my own jewelry for a while, but um, if you guys are interested in these, um, I'm going to give you my email. So this is my email address. If you're interested, send me an email and let me know. And then um, also let me know what colors you're interested in because this is something I can work on while I'm on vacation next week. Cause it's fun to do i like to do it um so it's m l this is a lowercase l thompson 3788 at gmail.com um and so we could do something like um you know for i don't want it to be like illegal to sell something and not get taxes taken out you know what i mean so what i was thinking we could do is we could call it um a gift like you're supporting my channel or something I don't know and then um, I would send you a free gift <laughs> um, I'm gonna have a lawyer look into that though just in case but I'm gonna write down have you are you guys fami familiar with the app called Venmo this is how it's spelled Venmo Hey, Fruitini. Um, so I just got a Venmo, and um, you just download it, and it hooks up with it's safe and everything. You hook it up to your um, your bank account, so you can take money out and like just send it to people. So my coworker today just sent me thirty dollars, um, and then you can have a balance on this app. Or you could just put it right into your bank account. It's similar, I believe, to PayPal. But, hi, Ian. Ian, where's Kathy? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys are interested, this, is, um, this would be the way to go. I would probably ask that you put money, give, um, do the money transfer through Venmo first. So I could use that money for shipping costs. Um, 
Oh, hi, Brandon. I don't have a PayPal, Tammy, but I can look into it. I've just heard a lot of good things about Venmo, and it doesn't take very long to set up, which I was very pleased about. So, yeah. So, there's, there's that. I just fit it right over the pick-me-up pen. Um, so... The, the shiny ones do have like a, a little bit of like a, um, I don't know, like a, not a, it's not a bad residue. It's just like a, it's a weird, it's a different texture than, than these ones. Um, so I ordered more of, of the Rainbow Loom brand bands because I, I think I prefer these ones, but I just have a lot more of these. Um, okay. Ashley says PayPal gives her problems. So Venmo sounds good. Oh yeah, I've heard of the Cash App too, Kendra. Kendra, do you use, have you heard of um, Venmo? Emma, I got the, I, if you just search on YouTube, um, rainbow loom, um, grips, they'll, they'll come up. Alexis and Brandon, why do you want to see my face? <laughs> Yeah, if I like I said, if I was a kid, I'd be really into Rainbow Loom for sure because I was all into that like perler beads and um, hi Michelle, you're fine, all that good stuff. I was into a lot of that crafting. My I had a craft craft cupboard growing up in my parents' house um, that actually is still there to this day. Um, so yeah Ashley no okay okay that's kind of weird okay anyway I know I don't show my face for a couple reasons um obviously it's a weird world and when I first started my channel yeah it's on my profile picture um when I first plus I look like a hot mess right now because it's really hot in my apartment for some reason well I'm on the third floor so that could be why <laughs> so my cheeks are like real I'm really sensitive to heat and my cheeks get red like in a second um, so I just, I don't know. I didn't want to show my face, even though it's on my, it's on my profile, but, um, it was more distorted at the beginning. And then as I became more comfortable, I decided to change the picture so you could see it a little bit more clearly. Cause I think, I think it does help when you can see who you're, who you're talking to. Um, Karen, I'm still, I'm still like playing around with them, but I do like it because it goes all the way. I can make it as long as I want. So when I diamond paint, um, I, I'll do wax on, I'll use the wax on this end, one end. And then this end, I put another single and I don't, I don't put wax in that one. So I can flip it over and like push it around it without smooshing the wax everywhere. That's how I know that, that's how I make the wax last longer in my pens. Um, so I'm still kind of playing around with it. That's why I said, I, I think I figured out that the 5V is the best for pushing so it won't fly down, <laughs> sink down like this one does. Like if I, like it doesn't, I'm not pressing that hard and it's like smooshing down. So obviously I can't put a lot of pressure on that one. Oops. Yeah, so. Um, Emma, what do you mean DP ideas that you should do? Like paintings, pictures? I think that's, I think that's pretty um, up to the individual. All right, addicted to pretty. Um, oh, thanks for teeny. I know I made my thumbnail for this video, a picture of all my pens that I made. So I've kind of gone overboard, but I'm going to keep going. This one I played around with, um, some different patterns and stuff and, 
this one, this has the white and black are, are one band. So they're like mixed and I threw a couple lines of purple in there. Thanks, Kylie. I appreciate that. I had to, again, that is messing me up. Kylie, Kylie, Kylie. Oh, Ashley, thank you. Oh, you're going to love it. You are going to love it. Okay. Um, owls are good. Oh, thanks, Allison. <laughs> Rian, yeah. Um, okay, sorry, I'm scrolling up in the comments to make sure I didn't miss any questions. I'm tr I try to... Allison, you should do it. Watch it, watch it. Oh, Val, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So you guys, if you've joined, if you join my the Facebook group, I don't want to say my Facebook group because it's our Facebook group. We all make it happen. So if you join my fa our Facebook group, <laughs> um, I put a picture of my cabin on there. Oh, Kylie, good. I am, April. Um, Trish, I'm, I'm going back to your question. Yes. No, <clears throat> Trish, the kits come with, okay, so the, the kits come with all the drills you need. They come with a tray of some kind. Tweezers, if there, if, if you bought a square, a square drill, they come with some cheap ass tweezers. They come with a standard pen, which looks like, oh my gosh, I just had one, I swear to God. Oh, there it is. Like this. And it can either be just the single tip or it might have um, a, a multiple drill tip on the, on the end. This one can do three at a time. Um, there's Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Candice, if you've joined, if you've asked to join during this live stream, I can't, I can't let you in until after the live stream is over. <laughs> Freedom, that is so funny. Thank you. Um, April, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to send you guys pens. Here's my, my email address again for you guys if you're interested let me know and let me know um what colors you want it to be so I don't know I mean I won't be able to get them out next week because I'll be on vacation um and also I'm asking that you guys use the Venmo app um to pay me I need to, I need to get paid for like shipping um I'm not I'm not doing this to make a bunch of money or anything like that but I do need I mean I don't know how how much do you guys think is fair? I think it's going to cost like three, three or four bucks to ship. So, Allie, did your diamond painting, so your diamond painting didn't come or did it, it's tomorrow for you. So I don't know when your mail comes. Kendra, that's one of the things I'm actually going to talk to you about. Um, well, I guess we'll start with that. Okay, so I, I sat, I used to, when I first started, I sat at my dining room table. And, oh, and you guys, sorry, one more thing. I don't, if, if I give, if I mail you just the grip, it's going to look like this. And what you do is, so I was going to offer, because I have so many of these pens, I was going to offer to just give you a free pen. Um, and then you just take the, the ends like this and you put them over like that. So can you specify in your email if you would like a pen or if you want just the grip, 
please, so I know what you want. I mean, it's hard. It's a little tricky to. So, um, yeah, Kathy, have you, I don't know if you were here for that. You came on recently. Um, so, like I said, it'll come like this, kind of just like a, it almost looks like a, one of those Chinese finger, whatever you call them, Chinese finger. And this end is coming apart because um, the way I, that I pulled it off the pen when it was on there. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to reuse these because this was too big anyway. This was a six and I need it to be a five. Um, <laughs> Allie, hopefully it'll come while we're, while, we're, while we're live. So yeah, if you're interested in that, you guys, you can um, do that. Venmo is an app that allows you to just, you know, um, send money my way. Just, I don't know how much you guys would want to pay for it. I'm not asking for a profit here. Kathy, what happened? Zofia, I am so excited. Yes, do an unboxing video. Yeah, Val, so it depends on where they live. And so in the email, I guess I should write this down so that you, I don't have to keep eating it. Um... In the email, I want you to write the following things. Colors, pen or no pen. If no pen, um, I need a measurement. And then um, your address. So I can ship it to you, obviously. So I'll need to know those things. And I can always, you know, respond to you if, if, if you forget one of those things. Kim, seriously, it's so easy. Oh, Kathy. Yuck. Val, so Etsy off, Etsy is, people on Etsy sell them for $9.99. And I have, so on any given time, I mean, I'm using four pens. And if I buy them all at 10 bucks a piece, that's $40 worth of just grips. I thought that was ridiculous. So, oh yeah, Kylie, I can. Um, if I can remember. Um, so I think like maybe five or six, I don't know, five or six bucks might be fair. I just, I don't want it. Like I said, I'm not looking to make money off of this. I just, I just want to be compensated for shipping and, um, my time. <laughs> Yeah, Tammy, yeah. You guys don't have to ask me for one now. You can, um, anytime, anytime. Oh, yeah, Val, that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, anyway, moving on. I started talking earlier about, oh, um, where I sit, so... Um, at the beginning, when I first started, I was sitting at my dining room table and that was fine, but I, I have like bad swelling issues in my extremities. <laughs> like my fingers will swell or my feet will swell when it's warm or whatever. So what I noticed was happening was, yeah, was, um, my feet were swelling. It was becoming just uncomfortable and like I, 
I was like, oh my God, what's wrong with my feet? My feet look so big. Um, and so I got, a, I, my coworker had bought me a, a foot hammock for my desk for Christmas or something. And it's just like to put your feet up under your desk. So I tried that and it still wasn't helping. I think it has to do with circulation. So yeah, Kathy, it's bad. So I was like, you know, I need to have my feet up while I do this. And my, my kitchen, my dining room chair isn't comfortable. So to answer someone else's question about what kind of chair they use, um, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend just a kitchen chair. <laughs> if you're going to spend like a decent amount of time doing this craft, um, like hours at a time. Um, I guess if you do an hour here, an hour there, it doesn't matter. But if you're sitting there for four hours plus, you know, it's going to get hard to uh, sit like that. So I ended up sitting on my love seat with my feet extended in front of me. And so I was, you know, long, you know, lengthways on my love seat. It's a two person couch. I don't know what you guys call it in other parts of the world. Um, oh, bye, Ashley. And um, does anyone else need this up? I'll put it back up later too. Um, so I ended up using my couch and that's why I got a lap desk and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so I guess you could even get like a computer chair, right? Like a swivel chair or whatever you want to call them. Um, <clears throat> that might be good too. Um, yeah, see, yeah, thanks Val. I do have a video about my lap desk and my, all that stuff too. So you guys can see me talk about it and, and like handle them. Oh, Kylie. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think it's all about just like knowing yourself and knowing what you need for yourself, you know, what, what's going to work for you. Um, some people can work at their kitchen table and it's not a problem. For me, it, it was becoming a problem. Um, so right now I'm actually at the kitchen table because I know I'm not going to be here very long. Um, by not very long, I mean, I'm not going to be sitting here doing this for four hours. Um, with you guys, I might take it down. But I do have stuff I, I got to get done tonight after this. So I'm going to have to cap it probably at like an hour or an hour and 15. Um, so I can get some other stuff done. I'm really pumped to go up north on vacation. But I'm really like feeling the anxiety of stuff I have to do. So I just want to make sure... Um, I get like all my diamond painting things together to take with me. I want to make a couple more. Um, oh, and I'm bringing some diamond paintings for my mom and my aunt because chances are they're going to want to do it too. Yes, Macy light pads are huge. I mean, I don't, I'm using one right now. This is what it would look like if I didn't have one on. See how dark that is? I like, I can't, I can't not use my light pad anymore. I'm going to try it just to see what it's like. Oh my gosh. All the symbols kind of blend in together more when it's dark like that. Wow. You can also, um, if you have an iPad... You can get the flashlight app, I think it's called. Allie, I think you're the one who, who said it was the flashlight app. And it turns your light pad or your iPad into a light pad. Oh, glitter angels, that's so exciting. So I have these too, because I, I wear like I wear these glass these um these these glasses they're they're like nothing I mean really I mean I wonder if you can even see through them like they're nothing see that nothing but what they do for me is they keep my my lenses my eye my the lenses and eyes actually the muscles 
Okay, Allie. <laughs> um, they keep my lens muscles from getting tired when I'm concentrating on something so hard like this. Um, and this is a clip-on to my glasses, and it's like a 4 plus 4. But the problem with this and why I can't use it is because you have to get really, really, really close to your diamond painting in order to for it to see clearly for it not to hurt my eyes um, and to even see clearly through them and I don't lean that far because I've learned like at, the other reason why I switched to my couch for my dining room table is because I was hunched over and my neck was getting really really sore um <laughs> Tammy Hi, Janice. Good to see you. Kathy, um, AliExpress is where a lot of people get theirs. Um, Val, get what? The magnifiers? Amazon. But you have to lean over so far. I don't recommend them if you're not going to... If If you don't want to be... Let me test it out again. If you don't want to be, let's see how far you have to get. I mean, that's like five in, four or five inches from, from the painting. I can't do that. I can't bend, I can't crane my neck like that. Um, which is why I got the lap desk with a tilt on it. So I'd be able to um see it a little bit better I also have this where is it oh it's oh, it's down there I'm not gonna go get it I have this tilter thing that you can put your light pad on to tilt it up towards you it's like a drawing um tilt thing <laughs> it can go on my on my lap desk too but with my big diamond painting this is a 60 by 80 that I'm working on right now. It's my elephant picture. Um, my black and white elephant picture that has no black or white in it. Um, it's a 60 by 80. And so I the tilt thing just doesn't work with a... It just... I couldn't find out a way to do it. So it would work, actually. Um, so... Nicole, the jeweler glasses, are they, oh, a jeweler glass, I see what you're, but you have to get right up on it, don't you? Frutini, no. There is no 310s in this picture. It's all 939s. And when I got this, um, when I got this painting, you guys, <laughs> um, the 939s came in this, like, gigantic bag. It was like, I swear to you, it was like, I, I can't even fit it in the frame. It was like, <laughs> I can't even fit it in the frame like this big it was like the size the width of like a storage baggie i know well i have a lot of 939s though a lot of any color is a bummer right but i'm thankful because i've got all this all this 310 or all this 310 all this 939 but then over here i've got a ton of color so I, what i was saying in an early video earlier video is that if i'm sick of doing all those 939s I can just jump over here and do some color in another section, you know, so it's, it's nice to have that variance in the same DP. Oh, Christy, it's okay. Christy, um, you had the sticky drills, right? Or the drills that had the condensation inside? The Kendra. Woohoo. I love enabling people. <laughs> 
I, you make me proud. Um, okay, Christy, did you wash them? I w I'm wondering, so Christy, for those of you who don't know, Christy's a part of the Facebook group, and she said, hey, what do we do? What do I do, you guys? I've got this, like, condensation in this bag of drills. And what gets me about that, Christy, is that they didn't come that way. So something happened between when you got, when you received it to when you bagged it up. Um... that made that happen. So I'm wondering if you had washed them to see how that, if that helped at all. Yes, Candace, I have. I've got a few of those in my queue right now, actually. Um, Nicole, Ella has a video about what? Yeah, so do I, Nicole. Um, I believe I actually made it before she made hers. Um, I have a video of me um, washing a lot of them at once. Because I think, well, for me, a lot of my sticky ones were the most of, that I had. So it was driving me crazy, and I had to think of a solution because I was like, I can't do all this white background with these sticky drills. There's no way... This isn't going to work for me. I was getting really, really frustrated with it. Um, so you guys, the, the drills that don't have DMC numbers, it's okay. You can do a few things. Um, it does not impede you in actually completing the diamond painting. The only problem with that is that after you're done and you want to store the extras, you don't know where to put them. Um, so you can do a few different things. You can purchase a DMC code booklet. They have a booklet that has all of, yeah, Kylie, I, I can, but I'm answering some questions. I'm sorry. Um... And what was I just saying? I was saying a couple things. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, you can purchase a DMC um, code booklet and try to match the color as best you can to whatever it says in there. Or what I have done, if I can find where the heck. Aha. Uh -huh. Found it. Okay, I just, this is what I chose to do. The only, <clears throat> the only extra drills I have that without DMC codes are round. So I just made a label, extra round drills, no, no DMC code. And I just used this like extra container that these containers were in. And um, I just put them all in like little baggies. Actually, I use this container because one of th this clip is broken. It only has one. So that's why I chose to use this one. And then I just put them in, in a bag with the, with the dryer sheet that was in the little tiny container. Not that that's doing much, is it? Um, but I just put them in here. And, um, you know, if I, if I come across a round that I, I really need another color for, I'll just compare them with myself with my eyes and I'll pick a color. I don't, 
I mean, you obviously want to use the right color. I'm not saying that you should just switch out colors willy-nilly. Um, in one of my paintings, I mixed two colors of blue um, when I was putting them into bags, taking them out of those these cheapo, like, these ones, you know? And I was putting them in Ziploc bags that um, reclose, like these ones. Um, and I accidentally made a huge, huge mistake and I put, uh, mixed two very close colors. They were so close, I couldn't even tell the difference when I was doing it. So, and it's a lot of color. It's, there's a lot of drills. It's two colors, but there's a lot of drills. So I don't really know what the hell I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm scared. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty scared. Um, to get that one out. It might be the last one I ever do, to be honest with you, or like the last one in my queue before I start ordering more, you know, I'll be like, I need to get this one down before I order any more, you know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just tricky. So I, I guess I'm just gonna, um, I think I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, Christy, so I scrolled back up. You did and you waited for them to dry. You put them in the container. With Did you put them in a different bag than what you had them in before? Because if you put them in the same bag, they're just going to get yucky again. Oh, Kathy. Oh, thanks, Candace. Have a good night. Thanks, for, or morning, whatever, wherever you are. Um, thanks for checking in. Allison, I started um, in April, beginning of April. Tammy, yes. Tammy, I agree. And I said it in one of my videos. I said, Putting them into storage containers is like, is feeding my, you know, addiction as well. Um, Kathy, I haven't, but you know what? I haven't searched it either. I bet you they have a ton of the, the pink ribbon DPs. I bet you they do. And I bet you they're beautiful. Um, Christy, okay. Christy, let's see. I want you to look and see if that solves your problem or if they're still yucky. All, I've been thinking about you all day, girl. I've been like, oh, geez, because I have been there. I have done that. It is such a bad feeling. So when that happened to me, <clears throat> I was like, I got to make a video of this. Everyone was like, wash them, wash them. And I was like, what? No way. And then my mom actually said, why don't you use like pantyhose or something so that they don't, you know, lose them down the drain. Oh, good, Rian. It must feel really good. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to keep you with me here, but these twos are kind of like all over, and I'm trying to. I'm just trying to look for them a little bit. <laughs> Kim. <clears throat> Kim, I am proud of you. I'm very proud of all my little, my little duckies. Okay, a story from the kids. Let's see. Let me think. Um, 
Oh, geez. There's so much that happens. Okay, here's one. So, <laughs> um, it was, it was in the morning and it was raining in here in Michigan. And, um, where I work, it's right in the middle. My school is like a renovated house and it's right in the middle of a residential neighborhood. Yay, Valerie, congratulations. And, um, I hear this. I hear my name being called and I'm like, who the heck is that? You know, I can tell it's a kid, you know, but it, it sounds really, really far away, you know, not just like right next to me. So, um, I look up and I see, you know, people waving at me from a window, um, a second story window in, I was in the backyard, the, the kids and I were outside and I see them. I'm like, I got a bunch of rain boots out of the garage and I was, um, I was getting them out because the kids, we had this like gigantic mud puddle, um, that they wanted to go in. So I was like, okay. And they were like, I don't have rain boots. And so I said, okay, well, I'm going to solve that problem. So we had like a bunch of extras that people have donated to our school and everything. So I got them out. And as I was like organizing those, I hear this little Megan, Megan, and I see this hand waving at me and then I hear laughing and I look up and it's, um, this little girl that, that goes to my school. She lives like three houses down and I see her <laughs> through the window of her bedroom. Like it, it, the screen was on obviously, but she was waving to me and I heard her mom say, look, she saw you, she saw you. And <laughs> It was really cute. She was um, so happy that I saw her. Um, her little hand waving at me. It was really sweet. Okay, I'm trying to look for, okay, six. I'm like, where's my six? Um, yeah, it was very sweet. Very sweet. Um, I got this little guy. Here's another story for you, Kylie. I've got this little guy that is very dear to my heart. We connected, actually I have um, this little girl and this little boy who I connected with very, very early on. I'm talking like um, the like last year when they were in the younger group. So my school, we have three groups and sometimes the, the kids start when they're two and a half and then they turn three and then I get them when they're three and they turn four. And then they go to the next group, which is, you know, four, and then they turn five, and then they go to kindergarten um, because you have to be five to go to, to attend kindergarten in the U.S. Um, so so I um, get to know, which is good because I get to know some of these kids before they come into my group. I get to develop a relationship with them before they even come into my group. And it's, that's very valuable, especially for young kids who, you know, might have separation anxiety and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I connected with this little guy, um, really early on, like a really special way. And he's got some, you know, like sensory issues just like self-regulation stuff, you know, like when he gets really excited, he cannot like calm himself down. So I've been working with him on strategies to do that independently. And he's actually coming along really well. Like the other day, he just ran to the bathroom. He ran out of the classroom and went to the bathroom. And I was like, oh, geez, where's he going? And I, my um, assistant went to go check on him. And it turns out that he went and got a drink of water which is an, a strategy to calm down. And he came back all on his own. And that was huge. So anyway, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm actually at the mid-August, I'm going to stop working at my current school. And I'm going to help um, open a new preschool, same company and everything. But my co-teacher actually is going to be the director. She got the, the director position. And I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to help her open it. You know, I'm going to be a teacher there. And so I started talking to this little guy about the switch because some other kids were saying something about it and he was there. And I, I usually wouldn't have um, told him about it yet. 
but thanks Sammy so um I just I haven't been reading the comments you guys because I really want to get this story out before I forget and my stupid memory forgets what I'm even saying um and so I said well <laughs> I said well next year when you're in you know that teacher's group I'll be teach I'll be at the new school and he said um he said why and I said well you know see you know my the school's opening a new preschool and I'm going to go teach those kids and he he said and he kind of looked at me like he was really worried and I said but I'll come visit you I'll come visit you and check on you and see how you're doing and he said you'll check on me all the time and I said yeah I'll check on you all the time buddy and he says he says okay check on me all the time because we love each other so much oh my gosh it was the cutest thing in the world I it I melted and I just I of course told his mom immediately what what he had said and she she said you're a part of our family and she's actually a sing, a single mother by choice so I've given her I feel like a lot of um advice and I'm not a parent myself but um I've got a lot of education on it on like you know child development and everything I'm in grad school for early childhood so um I feel like I've kind of been a support for her. So it's, I mean, I'm, I'm a little worried about leaving him. Um, but, and I'm a little worried about leaving this little girl to who has a really strong emotional attachment to me. She even like wears one of my sweaters around and like cuddles with it when she sleeps at nap time. <laughs> um, it's really sweet. And, um, I mean, they all call me Maggie at school. They all, all the kids call me Maggie. Um, my mom actually called me Megan, so she would call me Maggie. It's from the movie The Thorn Birds. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that movie, but the main character's name is Maggie. And that's why she called me Maggie, or Megan. And guess how many times she's called me Maggie in my life? <laughs> zero. She has called me Maggie zero times in my life. Um... So just a funny, fun fact about my mom. Um, so all, but all the kids do, they, they say Maggie, Maggie. And cause I am always coming up with nicknames for them too. Um, and so one day this little guy was, you know, talking, we were playing or whatever. And he just looks at me and I look at him and he goes, I love you all the time. And I'm like, oh my God. And I'm not. I don't like to say I love you to kids very much um, because I feel like it kind of, you know, it's a special thing. Love is not just to be kind of, it's, it's a deep feeling. And, um, you know, so I don't want to teach that it's like, you know, the true meaning of love is, is a deep feeling. And so, oops, I just put that in a freaking, in a nine instead of a six. I'm looking at this upside down. So the sixes look like nines. Um, and then another time he said, I like you and I love you. And these are like very, you know, drawn. It was, it wasn't like right in a row. They were very spread out in time. So yeah, they, they, they're really special kids. I really enjoy teaching a lot, especially this age. I love teaching preschool. It's all I know. Okay. I think I'm done with my sixes. Oh, there's one over here. Allie, where are you at? I need you. <laughs> I'm using the pink wax right now. Um, my three, my three-er, my triple <laughs> has Loctite. And this Loctite has been in there for, I want to say, when did I get the Loctite? I don't know, like a week? Two weeks? I missed one. Oh, I see it. <laughs> you guys are too funny. I love how you can help me. Oh, wait, I just lost it again. Oh, there it is. All right. I have wanted to become a teacher since I was in preschool. <laughs> 
I'm not even kidding. I would play teacher all the time. Oh, I see two more. I taught my cousin how to write in cursive when I was a little bit older. Um, I'm actually friends with my preschool teacher on Facebook, which is funny. Um, and when I got into the co and I so I've always had jobs in like day I had a job in a daycare. I've been babysitting like my entire life, and then I became a nanny when I was doing undergrad. And um, when I say I was a nanny, I was like pretty much like the house manager. They had five children. They had two sets of twins and a single. So I had five children under the age of six, I believe. Um, but once the older two went to kindergarten, I um, only had the three at home. But so I did that and um, When I first started college, I thought maybe I want to go into child psychology, but then I looked into the professions that carry that degree or that you, you could you know get with that degree, and I, I didn't really want to do social services and stuff. That wasn't I, – I, I'm a very emotionally driven person, um, and I take on the emotions of others a lot of times, or the room even. So um, I – knew that that wasn't going to be a, a good fit for me personally. But I, God bless those people who do that kind of thing because there's a huge need for that stuff. I just knew that I would take it home with me all the time and I, I just couldn't live that way. Um, again, it's, you know, about knowing yourself, right? So, um, <laughs> you guys are talking about the Facebook group. All right. I'll scroll back. So anyway, I decided, no, I want to be with kids, and I decided to pursue um, teaching. Kathy, let's see your time-lapse videos. Christy! I just saw this. Oh, it was just a minute ago. I don't feel bad. Okay. OMG, OMG. Good. Oh, awesome. Christy, I'm so glad that that worked for you. So glad. Yeah, I, I've had to wash a few of mine. Yes, Kathy, I think that's the term for it. An empath. Yeah, it is hard. Kathy, you have a channel? Oh, I'm so subscribing to your channel, girl. Okay. Um, speaking of, so Tam, what, Tammy, was it Tammy who said that? Okay. Um, it's probably one of the reasons why I'm not in a relationship, to be honest. Um, I was engaged, uh, and I broke it off. <laughs> um I broke it off a while. It was a year ago in March, so it's been like a year and a few months now. Um, and now that I'm single, and I've, I've, I'm a, I was a relationship person. Um, I think that's before I like found myself. Um, which we're getting pretty deep here, guys, but it's okay. I'm an open book, and I felt like. My personality type is like, I, I describe like I'm a chameleon. So I will, you know, chameleons are those lizards that will like blend into whatever color their background is. And um, so I, I sort of like become the relationship when I'm in a relationship. And so I figured out that I'm actually happier when I'm single because um, I sort of find myself again, you know. I don't think it's weird or anything. I just think that's the type of person I am. And I guess if I find the right person eventually who, you know, I can, you know, feel, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's anything the other person does. I really think it's just me. Um, but... The engagement 
being broken was like the best thing that ever happened to me to be honest with you guys so don't pity me it's totally fine trust me um he actually started dating like really soon after he started dating the girl he worked with when we were together and I would I would say like hey I'm a little wor this is making me nervous and he was like no I'm not even attracted to her blah 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 blah, blah. turns out they're together and <laughs> you ever seen the movie Good Luck Chuck? That's what I felt like. It's like I'm the last person before, it's, you know, that someone dates before they find their true love. <laughs> so I've just kind of not given up, but I've been like not trying at all to meet people. I mean, you know, in that capacity. I'm just not, I don't know, I'm, I'm just enjoying being 30 and finding myself and enjoying who I am as a person. And I think, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I know, diamond painting has really, has um, replaced my, my um, need for a man. <laughs> oh, Nicole. I just, yeah, it's, okay, Macy, goodbye, thanks for checking in, <laughs> oh, Stitchy Witch Brit. Is your name Brittany? I'm guessing your name is Brittany, but it could be something different. You're going to change a lot. That's good. Focus on you, girl. Hey, where's Tina? I know you guys have been asking for her, and I've been waiting for her. Hi, Norma. Oh, Brittany. Congratulations. Congratulations, girl. I hope it goes well, and please keep us updated on how you're doing. Okay. It's time for some self-improvement. Oh, good. I'm so happy for you. I'm a little bit nervous because these are how many L's I have left, and there's one that has a hole in it right there, and that's trash, so... All right. I know a couple people who have had weight loss surgery. Um, and they look fantastic now. I, I just don't know what the, you know, long-term effects are of it or the repercussions or anything like that. I know it's it can be dangerous depending on your situation, but... We, I would really hope that everything goes smoothly for you, girl, because that is going to be so great. I think we've all struggled a little bit, at least, with, with our weight and tried different weight loss things and all that stuff. Sorry, you guys. Do you see how, like, sporadic this is? I have to, like, move you guys around. I hope I'm not making you seasick. Oh, thanks, Glitter Angels. You know what, you guys? I think I'm going to send a... I think I'm going to um, make a video while I'm there, like, of where I am. I'll show you guys the scenery and everything. Um, and then I might even diamond paint and make a video there. Oh, Brittany, that's going to be so good. I bet it's expensive, though. You guys, I literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drills left of my 677s. Ah! Elizabeth, you had your stomach removed? Wow. Kylie, what do you mean?
Oh, that's good, Brittany. The insurance is covering it. That's really good. Oh. Um, the little girl, yeah, she, I mean, she makes me stuff all the time. I've got a million, um, beaded bracelets. Hi, Heidi. Um, <laughs> Allie. <laughs> I don't even know how to say your rabbit's name. Oh, good, Elizabeth. You guys, we're getting real. No, I don't know the heart-shaped bracelet, Kylie. Oh, Tammy, that's amazing. D'Artagnan? D'Artagnan. Is that how you say it? What is the best sign for a painting? I don't know what that means. <laughs> a sign? You mean a symbol? Kendra, my, my, my work, the priest who I work at, it's been around since like 72 or something like that. Oh, okay. Oh, size for a painting. <laughs> I was like a sign. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I attend Eastern Michigan University right now, and I did for, it's my alma mater as well. Um, <laughs> Jamie. Um, yeah, so D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan, okay. Um, thanks, Kylie. Is that to me, Kylie? Or is that to... Um, Brittany. <laughs> okay, size. That's good because I was actually wanting to talk about that. Size. Okay. It depends on your on your image. So if you are going to do something with not a lot of stuff on it, um, and it's pretty simple, then you can go smaller. But if it's if it has more stuff in it, like if there's more detail or there's people um, where there's, you know, faces that you want to have detail in, um, then you want to go bigger. I wouldn't do anything with that you want a lot of detail in with like people like faces. I wouldn't go any lower than like mm, like a 50 by 50. I would say a 40 by 40, but that's kind of on the line. Um, the bigger you go, the, you know, obviously the more pixels the picture has, because each diamond is essentially a, a pixel in the picture. So the more pixels you have, like in a camera, the higher pixels give you a better, you know, the higher amount of pixelation or whatever, get, um, gives you a better resolution, gives you a better image. So the more the bigger the diamond painting the more pixels there are therefore the better detail you get from the painting <laughs> size matters okay yes valerie i was thinking the same i i was like gosh this would be so cute like displayed like it's so pretty all the colors in there oh thanks thanks kylie Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Anne, you're such a good wife for going to get him ice cream. <coughs> Kathy, the Elizabeth Ward storage systems are on the more pricey side. There are definitely much, much, much cheaper ways to store your drills. I only use the Elizabeth storage system or the, the whatever, you know, those trays for my extra drills, which is kind of like, okay, I spent like 20 bucks on each of the trays to just like have my extras in. But the, my thought behind it is, you know, it's sturdy. It's, um, it's going to stand up to a long time, you know, um, and it's dependable. So I don't have to worry about them. Like, you know, the bags breaking open and stuff. I can just, you know, put it in there and then like, you know, forget it. The other thing is, is that it's going to take a while to build up enough extra drills to fill up those little tiny containers. So that was my other thought is like, you know, you only have a little bit of extra. I mean, except, except if you're um, ordering from Evermoment. Evermoment gives you like a ton of extras. But I haven't ordered from Evermoment yet because they're a little bit too pricey for me. Um, and I ordered so many at once from other sellers that I I can't, with my conscience, I cannot buy my, many, like, in bulk like that again um, until I complete the ones that I've done, that I have already. I just can't do it. Um so Consumer Crafts has them on their website. I shared that link in a video um, for like 19 something. Um, but Amazon has sold out and they're only offered from third party sellers for like, I think I even saw them for like 80 bucks and what a rip off that is. I couldn't believe that when I saw that they were going for that much. I would not pay that much money for those because I have four of them. You have to have, you know, a decent number of them because there's so many colors. Um, yeah, Heidi, I do think that you could do that. Another thing I saw a different person do on YouTube is they said that they just, they put their um, extra drills in a bag, in a small bag. And then they um, put it in like a baseball card, like um, sheet protector, you know, the the, the binder um, holders for baseball cards. So each one has a different color in it. Let me tell you though, okay, I'm gonna let you guys guess. Which two colors do I have extra of? I'll give you guys a minute to guess on that. Which two colors do you think I have extra, the most extras of? Hmm. <laughs> Valerie, I don't think you can buy two tenths of a storage, of the Elizabeth storage system. Joan, Nicole, Kim, Kim gets it. Kim, ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Kim, they are 5200s and 310s. I have to have bags of them because I filled up the little tiny container. So now I have um, an extra bag in my storage system. Just like right on the top. It still closes and everything. It's fine, but it was so much extra. <laughs> and I actually... Before I found out that you should just like wash the drills, I just on I threw away the rest of the sticky ones. I was like, I'm never using these again. F that. And I was like, done. 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 Never using these again. I hate them. They're horrible. No way. And I felt really bad when I was doing it because I was like, oh my gosh. I'm um throwing away these drills that I paid for and oh my god what am I doing but I was like screw it I'm a, I have so many of these Harry Potter paintings I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I mean white's gonna be coming out of my ass I can't I can't keep all these but 
we'll see what happens. I actually, I got so desperate, desperate I almost started tearing into the other diamond paintings for 5200s that weren't sticky. I mean, and that's like a huge no-no, right? Oh, Michelle, oi. Yeah, Kylie, <laughs> I'm sorry. Nicole, yay! It's the um, the rainbowy, the colorful one, right? Hi, Gold Star. I'm gonna use my pick me up pen a little bit to show you guys this too. Oh, yay, Nicole! When are you going to start working on it? We should work on it together. <laughs> yes, Christy, it really is. And it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Did you find it was really hard? I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to have all these little tiny drills all up in my sink. Because... I have like the worst luck ever and I know that whatever bad could happen is going to happen to me. I mean, that's not the, the mindset I usually have, but whenever something does happen like that, um, <clears throat> it, uh, I'm like, yep, that would happen to me, wouldn't it? Yes, Michelle. Michelle, what strategy are you using on the white drills? Are you using the multi-drill tips or are you doing the checkerboard or how are you doing it? Yes, I made them, Salida. I made them. Oh, hi, Tina. Good to see you, girl. How is your sorting going? Yeah, I've made, I so yesterday, I barely did any diamond painting. <gasps> oh my gosh, I barely did any diamond painting, you guys. <laughs> and I just made all these, I've taught myself how to rainbow loom these grips. Because I really wanted them. I think they look so neat. And actually, this has been really comfortable to use, you guys. The Whoever was asking that before. And I'm willing to um, make them for you guys. I think I'll charge you guys like, I don't know, five or six bucks per grip just for like shipping and my time and everything. Um, so if you guys want them, and I was saying earlier, for anyone who, who doesn't, um, who didn't hear this, um, I don't want to do anything illegal. So because taxes aren't taken out of that, I think we're going to call it like you guys are giving me a gift to support my channel. And then I'm going to give you a free gift. <laughs> um, but here's my email address, again, for anyone who wants one. And I, I'm asking you to tell me the colors you want. Do you want a pen with it or no pen? Because I have so many extra pens. Um, if you don't want a pen with it, I need a measurement for um, for the grip. And then an, your address so I can send it. And I, I'm asking everyone to use the Venmo app. And um, I'm also going to ask you to send me the money in Venmo before I ship it to you so I can use that money to ship it to you. Um, and I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, I'm not going to not send it to you because I was like, well, I don't want them to be worried about, um, you know, giving me five bucks and then I'm never going to send it to them. Um no, I have a lot of stock in you guys. Um, so I know that you could, you know, I don't want to displease people who have subscribed to my channel, you know. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute, Tammy. Hang on a second. Hold the phone. You were a Slytherin and then the new Pottermore put you into Gryffindor? If that's not two-faced, I don't know what is. <laughs> what? How in the heck can you go from one extreme to the other like that? 
Oh my gosh. Were you so surprised? That is shocking to me. No way. Rian, I'm a Hufflepuff too, allegedly. I mean, I thought I was, I was Ravenclaw. I've taken it like four times over the course of the years. And I've always been Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw. And then the last time I took it, which was pretty recently, like, I don't know, a couple months ago, because I was looking for diamond paintings and I wanted to get my house diamond painting. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take this again just for fun, just for yucks. And I did, and it, I was freaking came up Hufflepuff. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Tina. Sophia, what? Oh, Christy, you've got a lot of work to do. I love how you guys are all, you all know your houses. Oh, thanks, Kathy. I'll, I'll, so I'll post a video of where I'm at so you guys can see. But I probably won't be able to post it till I get back, unfortunately, because I don't have Wi-Fi there. Hi, Kylie's sister. <laughs> Tammy. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, Tam, because, I don't know, I think of Slytherins as, like, evil. I mean, I know they're not. I know you're not, but, you know, that was what Draco was. Is, I guess I should say. That's what Draco is. I know they're just cunning and wily and whatever, but... I was like Harry when I was um, taking the quizzes. I was like, not Slytherin, not Slytherin, anything but Slytherin, because I'm a giant nerd. I actually took the um, the quiz for the first time when I went to Harry Potter World in Universal Studios in Florida. And I'm wondering how the one in the UK or in England or wherever it is compares to it. I bet it's better. <laughs> Tina. Oh, Joan, that would be really funny. Thanks, Kathy. Oh, that's cool, Rian. Yeah, Nicole, it is amaze balls. It is so fun. Maybe in the next live I'll show you. I made like a photo collage book of my um my trip with all my pictures cuz I didn't want them just to sit you know in my phone or whatever. I wanted to actually do something with them. So, I decided to right away make a photo collage. I did Harry Potter World, but we also did um Islands of Adventure like the rest of the park and then Universal the rest of the park. So I've got like Dr. I got like Seuss Land in there. I've got um like Peter Pan and Little Mermaid and all the Disney stuff. Too cuz oh yeah, cuz I went to that's a different place. <laughs> we also went to Magic Kingdom. So um we did Universal one day and then Islands of Adventure one day, but we kind of like went back and forth. And then um, the third day we did the we did Magic Kingdom. It was really cool. It was me and my one of my really good friends, who is like twenty five years older than me. We met in in um, undergrad because she was going back for her second degree. Okay, you guys, it's been eighty nine minutes, and I have a surprise for you. I have a surprise for you. Actually, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to leave this on because I think you can see things better. Surprise time. Surprise time. Everybody loves surprise time. <laughs> oh, Tammy. Okay. Um, I can't decide if I want to. Yeah, I need to move this. Okay. I got some China mail today. 
surprise, surprise. All right, I guess I'll turn that off. A surprise unboxing video, guys. Woohoo! All right, I'm gonna try to rig you up here so that you can see a little bit better. Sorry if it's like squeaky and loud. I just gotta get you up on my... Okay, and I won't be able to see your comments very well because you're up high. Okay, unboxing time. Here she is. Oh, you're gonna get an always tattoo? That is so cool. Okay, here it is. It's a smaller one. I think I know what it is though, but we shall see. I've never done this live before, so Obviously, you guys know that. All right, now come on. But I don't edit my other ones either, so it's pretty much like whatever happens, happens. All right, we're not messing around. We're just gonna cut this, we're just gonna cut this damn thing right open. It's been a while since I've unboxed one of these babies. Oh my gosh, come on, the tape is crazy on this thing. Ugh. Okay, box is crunched. Crunch, crunch, crunched. It's seen better days. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. You guys ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. So that's how you're, if you haven't gotten one yet, and if you got a bit, a one, one bigger than like a, what is it, bigger than a 20 by 30 or something, 20 by 20, it'll come um, in a box like this. And inside you'll get, it might not be on a foam roll, it might just be like in a square shape like the box is, but this one is on a foam roll. And you got a kit. Whoa. I'm sticking my whole arm in here. Ooh. <laughs> I just ripped the end of the box. I'll just push it through the other way. There we go. All right. Box is empty. All right. So what you get is I got a green boat just like I do, just like I already have. Some bigger cheap plastic tweezers, which don't do anything really. Those will go to my school for the kids. A, a drill pen with a three drill tip and a single. Some extra bags and a rectangle square or a rectangle square. Oh. A rectangle of the opaque pink wax. Okay, so here are the diamonds. This is, I believe, a different store than I've ever, I can't remember the store, but I can put it, oh, it's, oh, Tina, it's Dyphon. Oh God, Tina, I really hope my drill bags are okay. Oh my God. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh my God, Tina, Tina, Tina. Oh my gosh, yeah, unboxings are so fun. That was the surprise. Okay, and I've never, never done one live before, so can you guys hear me okay? Oh, are you, you wanting to know what it is? Ooh, okay. It's a 40 by 60. Oh my God, I got this as a 40 by 60. <gasps> oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. It's a 40 by 60. It's for the, the my friend that I'm gonna live with because he loves the Lion King. There she is. It says, remember who you are. 
It's got lots of colors in it. He loves Lion King's like his favorite movie. And he's all about, you know, being unique and marching to the beat of his own drum and everything. So I thought this was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we've got lots of colors. You know what's really funny about this, Tina, is that these bags are thicker than the other ones I've gotten from other stores. <laughs> what? Oh, that's funny. Okay. They feel thicker at least. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Okay. So look at these colors, you guys. There are no 310s. No 310s. I repeat, no 310s and no... 5200s. Yes. No 310s and no 5200s. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's got 28 colors. Look at these colors, you guys. I didn't see any loose drills, so I'm taking them all out. I'm getting all up in these drills. Ooh, ah, look at that one. $7.97, it's like a, in, um, what would you call that color? I'm not very good at that. I don't even know why I try. Oh, wow. Pink, like a bubblegum pink. This is like a very light mint green. Look at all these colors. Oh, dun, dun, dun. These are 939s, you guys. It looks like I've got 13 bags of 939s. Yep. Better than what I got now. Because right now, I have this container of 939s. And here are the extras for my elephant. I have... One, two, wait, three extra huge two and a half by three and a half or something bags of 939s. And I also had a fourth bag, but I went through that already. <sighs> and that's after I filled up that container when I was putting them in containers. I fill up the container and then I had four full, full bags of, of, um, nine, of 939s. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this over here for a minute. Let's look at the canvas, canvas, canvas. Oh, look at that. The cover doesn't even have any advertising on it or anything. It usually says like some center group or who can has who can paper. Holy crap. And I also learned something completely on my own too, you guys, is that to, when you get your diamond painting and it rolls up like that, you just have to undo the paper. But this paper is all one sheet. You can even see the writing through here. Can you guys see that? I don't know if the glare is too much. So you just take up, <clears throat> oh. Oh, they covered the edge too, because then there must've been a lot of overlap. They covered the edge with another piece of paper. You just take up the paper and then you put it back down and the, 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 it'll be flat for you. So you don't have to press them down under books or anything. I do store my, um, I store my untouched diamond paintings under my mattress just to get them out of the way, really. I mean, they're flat, but just to get them out of the way. So there's the bottom half. There's Simba down here. And the writing looks really good. Looks really good. Then you just flatten it back out, 
get those air bubbles out. That table's getting full of crap. You hear those air bubbles? All right, and then you flip it over um, to the other side and you do this side too. This is something that I learned just by doing it. I didn't see a video on it or anything. I just figured it out. And I think that's what happens to a lot of us is we just figure stuff out as we go. There can't be a video for everything, can there? And there's Mufasa. Is that his name, Mufasa, Simba's dad? Mufasa. So pretty, I'm excited to do this one. He's gonna love this. So this one can stay in his room because you know, as I've mentioned, we are gonna live together. So this one can stay in his room and the elephant can be out in the hallway or whatever in the living room um, and everything. So that is exciting. It wasn't too long. If this came, then I should be expecting my big, my big drill trays to come soon too. So that's good. See, and now it's nice and flat. You don't have any rolling up. So you could start working on this right away if you wanted to after you got your, you know, inventory done and everything. So what's interesting about this, and I've never seen this before, is that they've covered this edge right here. You see how it's like the glue Actually, that's really strange because now that I'm peeling it back, that glue isn't even necessary. What the heck? Why is this on here? Tina, was this on yours too? Was this little strip on yours too, Tina? What the heck is this? Why is it there? I'm pe well, I'm taking it off. If it has a purpose, oops. Oh, down here it is on some of the drills. All right, I gotta cut that then. That was a really crappy job that they did. What the hell? I've never had this hap be like this before. This has never happened to me. This is really strange. Okay, well that doesn't, I don't need that part, but this down here, because they laid it crooked, I suppose. Actually it's, oh yeah, it is covering one of the rows, isn't it? Okay. So they just must have, oh, and it's like yellow. Ugh. That's really strange and really annoying, actually. Well, I might have to just use some super glue on that part that I pulled off. <laughs> it's still half of them is sticky, but whatever. So what's up with this side then? Oh, this side doesn't have it. It just has it on that side. Okay. Well, whatever. Other than that, this is okay. All right, so we've got that. After I'm done with this unboxing, you guys, I think I'm going to go. Um, so I can get some other stuff done here, including the inventory for this. So I can find out right away whether I have all the drills or not, because that's what you have to do. You have to do it right away before your um, window to dispute and stuff is gone don't want that to happen so all right i'm gonna bring you back down um there we go all right <laughs> karen i have not ordered any piece from joom yeah tina mine are pretty um Mine are pretty clear too. Oh, my wrist tattoo says Lumos. 
It's um, the light spell in Harry Potter. It is very clear. Did you guys see it? It is really clear. Yeah, you guys, I don't I don't mean to say like I was the first one to do blah blah blah. No, it's not that. It's just I like to take credit. Like I usually say, you know, I got this idea from so and so or whatever. Um I just sorry, I'm I'm reading these comments. Um so I just like to say, you know, I like to give credit to myself and credits too that I actually thought of something on my own. Um you know, I'm proud of myself for <laughs> for thinking of stuff like that and being creative. Um okay. Yeah. Brandy, it was because of the um, the glue. This side was like a tiny bit crooked over here. So. All right, bye, Christy. Bye, Rian. Oh, Christy's another Aussie, you guys. I didn't know that. Okay, Brandy. Sorry. I don't I don't want to make I don't want to, you know, there's no bad blood between any any people on YouTube, I don't think, but um, you know, I just I mean, we're all trying to help each other, really, you know. So, it's um it's all good. It's all good. All right, goodbye, addicted to pretty. Kim, you don't what? Wait, you're taking my tips on square drills. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to tell you guys one more thing about that. So yes, or on Monday, we were all talking about like round versus square, round versus square. And I couldn't come up with like a definitive answer. So here's the thing. I think I figured it out on my way home. Oh, happy birthday, Christy. Good night. Or good morning. Um, oh no, Brandy, no, no worries at all. No worries at all. Um, <laughs> Nicole, <laughs> Ozzy Diamond Painters. Um, what was I saying? Shoot. Oh yeah, why I like squares. So I think I... I think I enjoy doing squares more than rounds because, well, for a couple of reasons. Number one, they click into place and that is so satisfying. And number two, when you have like an edge to the drill, um, the, it, you know exactly where it should go. It just like goes right into that spot. And with rounds, each one, you have to like make sure you cover the symbol. And I don't know if it's just like, because it doesn't have like round, like really clear, some of them at least don't have really clear round circles of where to put them. And some people say, oh, squares are more exhausting because you have to like orient, orient them the right way. But if you, um, if you um, put your tray like, if you have your diamond, if you have your diamonds, that's why I always put my, when I'm diamond painting with you guys, I put my tray right above where I'm working. So I just, you know, it's parallel. So I just stick and pick and stick and I, I don't have to move them around. Oh, Allie, woohoo. Um, good luck. But the other thing, people were asking about a square pen and I, I would think that that would be even more um difficult because you'd have to orient the pen first 
to get on the drill the right in the right direction and then you have to orient the whole thing and put it back down so i don't know i don't think i'm i don't think i'll get around a, a square pen yeah, I don't, but I don't think I, I don't think it's necessary to be on it. I mean, I just, I don't know. It's all up to personal preference, really. So, you know, whatever. Um, but anyway, anywho, okay, you guys. So again, I don't know if anyone is on here who hasn't already seen this, but here is the diamond painting group that I started um, and where a lot of us are on it. And so it's Diamond Painting Addicts with these symbols. You have to scroll down a bit. And then here is my email. If you're interested in, in a, one of these um, grippers, you can email me at this email address. That's a lowercase l, mlthompson3788 at gmail.com. And then um, I'm asking everyone to use the Venmo app. Hi, Stephanie. Um, and then add like what colors you want. If you want a pen with it, because I can put it right around this pen and I can just build it right around the pen. Or if you want it to be without a pen, which it'll, it'll come looking a little bit like this. Kind of like a Chinese finger torture um, thingy. Um, and if you do, if you do not want a pen, I need a measurement for how long you want the gripper to be. So, um, centimeters or inches are fine. And then your address. And if you don't, if you forget that information, I'll just email you back and remind you. Okay. All right, you guys, it's been so fun. Um, get on our Facebook group so we can continue the chatting, especially next week. Um, when I'm out of town you guys can continue to share and um support each other and if you have questions and all that stuff and i also posted on there um a, a chart or spreadsheet type looking thing a, a chart for your inventory if anyone wants to use that um you're free to you know download that and print it off it's got like you know the painting name the size the seller the price the website, the, the date you started, the date you finished it, all that kind of stuff. So for your um, inventory, okay? All right, you guys, thanks so much. I'll be thinking of you in my vacation days coming up here. I'll be back on um, probably next Saturday The because I have class. So, yeah, class on a Saturday. I know grad school is great. <laughs> it really is, though. Um so what's that, the 30th? I don't even know. Yeah, the 30th, I think. Okay, guys, thanks so much.